But there is one thing, said Leon. Um, this guy is an idealist. And I think, <laughs> I'm, an, I'm an idealist too. No, 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 no. This is a metaphysical idealist. Right. And I, I had to admit that that made some alarm bells ring in me. Um, because work by philosophers outside of academia about consciousness mm. <laughs> as the metaphysical basis of reality and our universe, it does have a tendency as a rule to be less than thoroughly rigorous. Um, so this is the type of position that is not often defended in academic philosophy and it's usually associated outside of academia with New Age and Western adaptations of Asian religions. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with Asian religions but it does not automatically provide the style of argumentation that is required in academic philosophy. So we were a bit cautious. But Leon insisted, this is, something, this is someone with a PhD in computer science. Moreover, many of his philosophical papers have already been published. Uh, in fact, one of his papers has just been accepted by the Journal of Consciousness Studies, which is quite something. <coughs> and uh, we had a very brief but very good conversation uh, and this was definitely not a new age freak, but someone who seemed to know the literature and definitely seemed to know the issues in the literature in contemporary uh, analytic philosophy of consciousness. So we were very interested. And uh, this was, to me, this was real intellectual openness. And that is essential, I think, especially if you defend a completely bold proposal that basically implies that most academics are wrong about the nature of the universe. So <laughs> you should have some openness there. We don't agree on the nature of consciousness, we don't agree on the nature of the universe, but I do think that your, th your thinking poses an alternative for the received position of physicalism, which I do agree is problematic as well, that deserves attention and further discussion. It offers smart and very creative arguments and a well thought out worldview that is worked out in relative detail. You identify and address one of the main problems in the, uh, for the position of panpsychism and formulate a solution to it that is truly innovative. Yours is the first external PhD thesis that consists of peer-reviewed published papers. This is the type of PhD thesis that is encouraged by uh, the Graduate School for the Humanities and by many supervisors, us included. But it turns out that it is a standard that is really hard to maintain if you're not working full-time in academic philosophy. So once more, we have lots of respects for your, uh, your achievement. Dear Bernardo, you did have a PhD thesis already, uh, title already, but you now have, you're now a real doctor of philosophy. Congratulations. Thank you.